Turkish. And um, Park O'Toole, but I also mentioned Paddy Johania, and I wonder would um, Jack come up and do his recitation in Rubens Paddy Alright. It is in September 93 I was on the Hogan's band for the Greater Lion and Poynan and the Football Tour of Grand. Billy Morgan and the Cartman served up such gallant play, but they failed to match the dirty men who started to win today. And as the crowd was fighting out and thousands on the street, I saw an older and greater man remaining in a seat. And as I passed beside him, I could see to my surprise, as he gazed around the park, the tear was in his eyes. I sat down right beside him and I asked if he was well, and the old man shrugged his shoulders, and then he began to tell. How memories come flooding back from a seat the greatest place, and I think there are many former stars which have said in other days. For more than 50 golden years and gone to many games, I remember famous matches and the legendary names. And I thank the Lord who spared me, for it is always my desire to see the men from Derry taking home the Sam Aguirre. Look over there, young fellow, you see the mighty crane. It tells me that our dear Coke Park will never be the same. They start tomorrow morning to kick down the Tuesday stand. It will never more re echo the obtained by famous band. Some are call it progress, some are looking can stand still. I wouldn't be surprised to see a roof across the hill. But still I'll hardly see for what time I have left in Greece, and I just retain the memories of the triumphs and the grief. I remember well the parties from this common board and crew were made by Jimmy Murray in the saffron and the blue. They played the mighty king and they matched the man for man. I can still see Billy O'Connor, Paddy Vaughan and Joker Hand. I was here in 1945 when the Cartman came and won with Jack Lynch, Richie Murphy, Jimmy Cronin and Amy Young. And I well recall the cabin men who were captained by John Joe with Simon Dighton and Mick Hagen, Gunnar Brady and Owen Rowe. I was here in 1951 from the old defeated me. The tension and excitement so a man could hardly breathe. It was the year of the great foot back, no better could you find than the famous Paddy Kendrick and Paddy Hans O'Brien. John Flanagan was bringing Paddy Carey was for cream. You couldn't stop John Flanagan when he downed the red and green. Paddy Megan was a flyer, Frankie Bernos had to stop. But the man who took some watching while my devil would be tapped. But perhaps the greatest influence in the football game I knew was the famous 50 football team, the Dublin Boys in Blue. Still, the Italian could match the most never known to yield when the famous Mitch O'Connell raised the dream in the centre field. With Sean Murphy, Kevin Coffey, the Wild family set, and with Johnny Curry in the goal, it is hard to find the net. But the 57 winners were the loud and brave and fine, and the captain of the champions was the crew man named O'Brien. September 1960 saw the kingdom lose their crown, though were beaten well on double scores by the mighty men of down. A goal from James McCartan set the diamond's heart on fire, and it went across the border. It was the first for Sam McGuire. The next year they played off they would make Casey great use. Their captain Willie Nolan for excitement they you. Still the diamond won a by a point and champions did remain. Though more than 90,000 fans present for the game. And Galway in the 50s I still remember best. With Jack Mahan, Nick Reilly, Frank was and the rest. But the greatest football genius I've ever seen by far. It had to be Sean Purcell, the magnificent true star. And Galway in the 60s, they were treat for all the fans, the Donlins, the Keenans, nor clearly had great hands. But if you ask me what's the greatest team, I would really have to say, it was Kelly in the 80s with Pat Spillan and Jack O'Shea. It is very strange the old man said how all those memories last. I remember 50 years ago, but forget the recent past. 
I'm thinking of the other great great heroes in their day who never won a title after years of ring and play. Kevin Armstrong from Antrim, Eddie Devlin from Tyrone, and the star of Frank McWiggan and the brilliant Eddie Jones. Then go to see from Wexford, Bill McCurry, Father Man, and the fairy Willie Casey from the town of Lamina. But come and had O'Malley, what a credit to the game, and then came Dermot Early, another famous name. Those slide of Mickey Cavan's bar must be made or down, and wait with that Jerry O'Reilly, Jim Ryder did them foul. And I remember Andy Phillips, who never dropped the ball, and the famous Neely Gallagher, the toy of Louis Gall. Bill Delaney and his brother, who are each men of renown, and the boy under Tommy Murphy, from all great common town. I remember famous Lily Boyce, Pat Connolly, Tom Carew. I remember Alec Trinigan, he was a good one too. But let's not forget the Lieberman, the scorn of Coughlin, and the likes of Pike Majority, we may never see again. There was Jerry, Jimmy Keever, Sean O'Connell, and you know fear. They never got a hand on Sam, though the star for many years. Well, the crowd was still attacking, so we both got up to go. And the old man took me by the hand, and he said, I'm sure you know. There's one who hasn't mentioned yet the greatest of the Yale. No worse can do him justice, the Pavitons all fail. From my best contribution to the game we love so dear, since August 1938, we acknowledge and reveal. He filled our home with atmosphere, and his talent was so rare. And that is a great, great commentator, our beloved Mayor. Yeah.